in fact, I was one of the first people who started using, uh, you know, uh, new graph when they just came, uh, you know, came to the market. Right. And I, I, I told the company that, hey, I, I'm, my, my background is from Johns Hopkins. I have to do research. I have to have evidence based that this method works better than the others. So I asked him to, to give the machine, uh, you know, uh, uh, give me the machine so I can compare it. I, I put together a study comparing new graph. Uh, safe system and uh, you know manual system for hair restoration that I used to uh, uh, I, I used to do before, and uh, in my smallest study that I did, uh, I found out that the speed of a manual was better than the other two, and the quality of, of the graphs was was better with safe system. So right. I did not use you know uh, uh, new graph. Right. I never published that study because I, I thought it was unfair because I'm not using new graph on a regular basis. So it's not a good comparison. But I mean, if you do uh, evidence base and if you look at the numbers, you can uh, you know better uh, you, you can draw a, a you know more solid conclusion. And and I agree with that. And that's really the way that I think all medicine should be practiced. Uh, you know, it has to be evidence based medicine. But I am seeing this. Doc, I'm telling you, I mean, we are the clearinghouse for complaints and questions and through the American Hair Loss Association, through the IHRS, through the Ball of Truth. A large percentage of people that are asking about surgical hair restoration are, A, they're asking about FUE first. I mean, strip is sadly, and I say sadly because I think there's still an important place for it. It's going by way of the dodo. Um, but now we are seeing more and more requests about the artist hair transplant procedure or the neograft hair transplant procedure. So in the consumer's mind, it is, it is a procedure. Now, you have to understand that, yes, you know, we have some very powerful resources, but as the industry kind of spreads out, um, there's going to be much more marketing for these devices. So even when they find our message form or find the American Hair Loss Association or find other resources, that um, really kind of give the, the skinny on the reality of what's happening in the industry, it could be too late. And that's, that's what I'm starting to see. And there's, there's no doubt in my mind that, A, strip is, it, within five years, strip is going to be a thing of the past. And um, I'm not saying that's good or bad. I, I think that it actually could be tragic for some people. I think that it should be something that is still offered for the right candidate, um, and I think it's sad that it's looked at as an antiquated procedure when it could actually help a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you agree with that. Well, I, I, I see your concern, and I, I have the same concern because a lot of these, you know, physicians, uh, whether or not this, 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 you know, methods like artists are going to improve and become more, uh, you know, competitive with the method that we, we currently do, but it brings in some uh, new waves of you know, physicians who, who don't know hair restoration and they think that the machine will do everything well, else. So they look there's, at, there's no more barrier to entry. It's, it's, no, you, you don't no. have to hire a staff and a team. You know, it, you, right. That's it, correct. It, or it, train it, them. it may look, the, the problem is that three years ago or two years ago, the annual meeting of International Society of Hair Restoration was in, uh, was in Alaska. And I was one of the faculties at the, you know, basic uh, science course. Right. When I went there, I saw in the group of students that were all, you know, doctors of, you know, different specialties coming to learn hair restoration, a whole bunch of new doctors who are coming to learn hair restoration because they bought a machine. That's right. And they've been told that this is a turnkey business. You just buy it and we give you the technician. You don't, you just sit back. It's like a laser machine. You just add it to the collection of your machines and you add another, uh, you know, uh, well, source of revenue. So yes. now they're realizing after buying the machine, they're reala realizing that no, there is more to hair restoration than just a machine who can remove hair. Uh, 